Okay, so if you're a Java developer, you've probably hit this fork in the road, Oracle JDK or OpenJDK. They look so similar, right? So what's the actual difference? Well, let's break it all down. You're firing up a new machine, starting a new project, and boom, you've got to make a choice. So which one should you pick? Don't worry, by the end of this, that decision is going to feel like a total no-brainer. All right, first things first, let's get one thing straight. We're talking about the two heavyweights in the Java world, and honestly, Oracle has been working hard to make them almost identical under the hood. For the most part, especially with the newer versions, they're functionally the same. But, and it's a big but, a few key differences are still there, and that's where your choice really starts to matter. So what is the single biggest thing that separates them? You know, the one core idea? Well, it all comes down to their basic philosophy. And there it is. That's the fundamental split. Oracle JDK is a proprietary, commercial product from Oracle. And OpenJDK, that's its fully open source cousin. Just about every other difference we're about to talk about stems directly from this one simple fact. All right, let's start with Oracle JDK. The absolute best way to think about this one, it's the convenient all-in-one package. It just works. The magic word for Oracle JDK is ease. Yeah, it's free for commercial use, which is great, but its real superpower is the installer. It doesn't just dump a bunch of files onto your computer. No, it handles the annoying configuration for you, like setting up your Java underscore home variable, and let me tell you, that can save you a real headache. This whole user-friendly approach is exactly why it's the go-to default on Windows and Mac OS. Now, on the other side of the coin, we've got OpenJDK. So if Oracle's version is that all-in-one package, think of OpenJDK as the flexible do-it-yourself toolkit. OpenJDK is also totally free, but it's under that classic open source GPL license. And here's the big difference. Instead of a nice installer, you just get a compressed file, like a zip or a tarball. Now, this means you have complete control over everything, but it also means you're on the hook for all the configuration yourself. And that level of control, that's precisely why it's the default choice for Linux distros like Ubuntu and Fedora. Okay, so we've looked at them one by one. Now let's put them in the ring together, side by side, and really see how those differences stack up. When you lay it all out like this, the pattern is just crystal clear, isn't it? It's like a domino effect. It all starts at the top with proprietary versus open source. That one choice dictates the license. The license then dictates the distribution method, a simple installer versus a manual archive. And that in turn leads to the core setup difference, automatic versus manual, which explains everything about why each one is the default on different operating systems. See, it all connects. So with all of that on the table, how in the world do you actually decide? Let's boil all this down into a super simple guide. You know, it really just comes down to this one simple idea. If you want an installer that does all the heavy lifting for you, Oracle JDK is probably your best bet. But if you'd rather get your hands dirty and handle all the configuration yourself, OpenJDK is the way to go. To put it another way, do you want it done for you or do you want to do it yourself? So here it is, the decision tree in its simplest form. Ask yourself this, is your number one priority an easy automated setup so you can start coding right away? If the answer is yes, Oracle JDK is for you. Or do you want complete manual control with the power to customize your entire environment exactly how you like it? Well then, OpenJDK is your path. It's really that clear a choice between convenience and control. But let's be absolutely clear about one thing, because this is really important. When it comes to actually writing code, you know, using all the latest and greatest Java features, both of these will get you to the exact same finish line. The core functionality is identical. Your choice isn't about what you can build, it's all about how you prefer to set up your workshop. So there you have it. The automated convenience of an installer on one hand and the complete control of a manual toolkit on the other. The path you pick really just depends on your personal workflow. So the only question left to answer is, which JDK is gonna power your next big idea?